no other weapons. I've sold them all, but that's okay. It's kind of what the Breaching Bomb is for. Breaching Bomb is also extremely good at taking down enemy shields because, as you just saw, if the enemy ship does not have redundancy in their shield system, it can take down two bars of shields with one missile, which is better than the Artemis. Artemis does hull damage, though, and it's only one power, but the Breaching Bomb is still very good. It's also a teleporting weapon, so it gets around the uh, defense drones. Breaching Bomb has a lot of uses, and I, I really like it as a weapon. It's very rare that I find a situation where I want to have it, though, because it relies on missiles. This ship started with 25, and it's kind of the only thing we've managed to pick up. Its utility is why I picked it up also, because we are boarding and we're not very strong at boarding, so I'm gonna have to be a little bit creative with how I board. I'm gonna save scrap, spend it at the store, repair slightly, maybe buy a mind control system or a hacking system. I would love to pick up a mind control if I can afford it. Or, you know, a better weapon, a flak gun. Drone control system repair drone. I could sell the system repair drone for 50 and then sell the fire drone that gives me missile defense missile defense is very important anti-drone is actually very important too super shield barrier could be interesting defense drone mark 2 could be very interesting instead of the defense drone mark 1 requires more power but only one more power and it would protect us against lasers and ions, but I'd much rather just have the guaranteed protection against missiles. But maybe we could run Defense Drone 1, Defense Drone 2. Nah, it's too expensive. Okay, we're gonna run... We're gonna run Drone Control. We need Missile Defense. This is how we get it. We're gonna sell... We're gonna sell system repair. And I think we're gonna sell fire. It requires three power, which is, it's too much in my opinion. And we are killing crew with boarding them with numbers. We have the clone bay. We're just throwing our crew at the wall and seeing what dies. We don't need to worry about fire. We don't have rockmen either. So I think we're gonna sell the drone and we're gonna spend the rest of our scrap on a little bit of fuel a little bit of hull repair and reactor power so that we can actually use this equipment eventually. Might also want to get the crew teleporter upgraded, but for now, I think we're fine just getting reactor power. Okay, that's pretty good. It's pretty decent. Let's jump forward up around. Ah, let's go to the distress beacon and then we can snake around the exit a little bit. No, we can't really do that. It's gonna be kind of a direct path to the exit, unfortunately. Yes, always demand the surrender of their goods. Missile launcher, hey, we can we can block that now. And they have no med bay, they have no clone bay, so I can just dump my crew at them and see what sticks. So we're gonna beam aboard the enemy. Engines, yeah. And I'm probably going to send the NGs over again, honestly, because I do want to stop them from escaping. And with only a slug versus human, that's that's an even matchup. They have the same health, they, they do the same damage. So I think we need something to kind of put it in our favor, put the combat in our favor. And I think we do that by, well, first of all, idiot, get the defense drone online, so point. Good, thank you, defense drone. Breaching bomb could be useful, but I don't think it's necessary. As long as we dodge, you know, one of the lasers that they're firing at us. Let's get let's get the NGs ready to go over. Three laser shots, perfect, we dodged one. Slugs, you're gonna be fine. NGs go over, take some of the heat off the slugs. Um. Do I want the slugs to die? Do I want my slugs to die? Probably, they have so low health. Ugh. Let's try to do it without the slugs dying. We can kill them later. Defense drone, thank you. 
and we picked up another defense drone. You know what? It's appreciated because it's 25 scrap that we can sell in the future. All right. Kremity and John. Distress signal, probably a trap. Yeah, we should kill them off. They have so low of HP, they're not going to be helpful in the next bit of combat. So long, slugs. Need to also get the uh, clone bay upgraded soon. So that I can get more healing every jump, and so I don't have to kill my crew in order to feel like I have a chance at combat here. I don't need my crew to, to be at 100% health when I send them over, because it doesn't matter if they die, but when they only have 30 health and I send them over, they're not going to do their job. They're not going to disrupt the enemy crew. They're not going to keep them busy for long enough. Not nearly. I think my power situation is fine. Plenty of drone parts. It would be nice to get a uh, drone recovery arm. Then I could run... Two defense drones or a defense drone one, defense drone two. Oh, I see. I never noticed that before. If the icon is there, that means it's uh, it's already deployed and it doesn't take a drone part to use it. Interesting. Okay. Jump ahead, Kremity Fen, full HP. Dock and try to rescue the survivors. Sometimes you can get some crew members out of that. Instead, we just took some damage. That's okay. The 10 scrap is not nearly as much as I would have liked from that encounter. And at this point, I think we do upgrade our ship. And I think we do that by upgrading the crew teleporter. Because we can send more crew over faster if we need to. You know, now it has a 15 second cooldown. I can send over, you know, the NGs after I send over the slugs now. And they can kind of keep the enemy busy. And I think it's very important, especially when you have a clone bay like this. You're just kind of dumping crew at the enemy ship and seeing what happens. I'm going to wait for this to land before I do anything. No, I'm not. I'm going to use a defense drone. It might shoot down the, uh, the hack, and it will shoot down the missile. We're going to beam aboard the enemy ship, keep them busy drop there. Actually, they only have one bar of shields. Maybe we don't need to beam over. We can just use the uh, the charge laser. I'd, I would like to take something offline, though. So you know what? We will beam over. We'll beam over in the weapons room. No, we'll beam over in the shields room. Yeah, let the charge laser do more work. Oh, thanks, defense drone. It doesn't matter that they hack the clone bay. Our crew is going to be fine. We have the backup DNA bank. They will be able to take out the shields. And there it goes. Charge laser, take out the weapons. And there they go. They'll be fine. Don't worry about them. They don't have a, any uh, lasers online, so I don't need to have my shields powered up quite so much. It's a Lido, so they're going to keep it powered more than anything else. So I am going to auto fire on their weapon system. If it's a Lido. Lido's don't take two power, do they? The Lido that you get in the, um, I think it's B type, maybe it's C type, um, Zoltan ship, it only takes one power, but maybe the Lido that the enemy ships have require two power. I don't know, it's a possibility. Oh, the shield's coming back online, so I'm gonna save the charge laser shot. I should've been firing on the shield system, I just wasn't thinking about it. But not thinking is the type of stuff that gets you into trouble. I think we can take out their missile before it fires. Yep. And we're just gonna alternate between weapons and shields. Nathan is getting more weapons training, which is nice. He needs it. Kremity and Fen. Kremity still has the level two combat. Fen is almost there, but he keeps dying. So he can't quite make it. Good, and they're dead. 23 scrap. Much better than the 10 we got before. Do I upgrade anything? Power? Engines? Maybe save it for shields, in fact. I don't think we can sneak through the rebel, so I am just going to go... Not straight to the exit, but almost straight to the exit. Now, this is an awkward situation. They have... 
two beams and ion. I think we're fine here. I think we're probably fine here. I'm not even going to beam over, I don't think. Their ion doesn't bother me all that much. The drone kind of does, but I can, I can breach their weapon system and then they can't hurt me at all. And then I can switch over to the charge laser. And the ion missed. Perfect. The ion's the only way that we take damage, by the way. Reason being is an asteroid can hit us and then the drone can do work. But wait a minute, this is a fire drone, not a, not a, not a beam drone. Why do I care if we get fires? We can just put them out. Okay, this is this is much easier than I thought it was, but we're still fine. We're just going to wait for an asteroid to hit the enemy ship and then attack them in their shield room and eventually take their sh uh, stuff, <laughs> excuse me, offline. Oh, I mistimed it. And Nathan didn't even get training. Where's the fire? Oh, it's in this room. Why did I not see that? Who's getting the training? Oh, it's the pilot and uh, engine personnel. Lovely, lovely. Who's on shields? Gracie, okay. Gracie's gonna get training. Nathan's gonna get a lot of training. The pilot is gonna get a lot of training. This is fine. Okay, next asteroid. The charge, the two charge laser shots fire slowly. So you do have to shoot right when the asteroid hits in order to actually make it in. Here we go. Good, now they have no shields. Now I can not auto fire the charge laser, but we can almost get to the position where we can auto fire it. Just keep firing on the shields. Their weapons are not coming back online. The iron weapon's not gonna be able to take my shields out so that the uh, asteroids can hurt me. Or not even hurt me, but hit my, hit my um, shield so that the fire beam can do damage to me. But again, it's fire beam. It doesn't really matter all that much. Ooh, I missed that shot. Crew slowly getting healed. That's as expected, as designed. Yeah, we would not have been able to make it through the Rebel Fleet, so I'm glad I came here now. Just dumb beacon. Oh, we've gotten so many of these beacons that have nothing on them. It's so unfortunate. No, I don't want one drone part. Oh, and now we're going to an abandoned sector, so this is just absolute garbage. Makes the breaching bomb not as effective because the Lanius don't require oxygen in the first place. This is going to be tricky. It's going to be very tricky. I will harvest some myself. Well, we're definitely, definitely going to be using a defense drone here. They have a clone bay, two bars of shields. How do we, how do we, how do we, how do we deal with this? Boarding is suicide. They have no oxygen aboard the ship. Breaching can take their systems offline, but they're just going to get stuff repaired. How do I do, how do I do, how do I deal with this? I need to get the charge laser online. The breach will slow them down, and I can board them to slow them down further. So I guess we breach and then switch over to the charge laser. O2's hacked. Hopefully it's not a level multiple. It's a level multiple. Okay, it's probably like a level 2 hack. Yeah, dangerous. Very dangerous. We're going to have to do this quickly. Breach the shields. Now, wait for it to go off, switch over to the charge laser, get my crew teleported over, keep them busy. I don't want them to get that, I don't want them to get this stuff repaired. They will get it repaired relatively quickly, but my charge laser can get charged up, take out their hacking system slightly, keep my oxygen. You guys are fine, don't worry about it. We shot down the missile! Oh no, it was the defense drone. I thought we shot it down with our laser, but we did not. That's okay. Stop hacking my O2. We might be able to kill the crew, but it's very unlikely. We can keep the shields offline. That's easy. Maybe hit him once in the clone bay. Okay, he's going to try to get that repaired. I can hit him in, in the hack again. 
probably not going to kill the crew, but that's okay. That's okay. Yeah, I can get power back into the uh, clone bay, get my crew back to life. I might be able to kill their crew if I teleport over, but it's going to be it's going to be risky. Should we give it a shot? Let's give it a shot. I have crew to spare. That's why I have the clone bay and you know, these crew. I'm going to fire at the clone bay. Unfortunately, I let the uh, charge laser power up to level two, but that's that's okay. It's okay. You know what, Lombard? I got to send you over, buddy. We got to we got to do this now. No dodge chance, but it doesn't matter. And we beam aboard. They're very weak. I think we can do this. Our crew will die aboard their ship, but that's okay. Yes, we got 26 scrap plus another 40. Very nice, very nice. Oops. I guess I should have beamed them back sooner. They're gonna have low HP, but I'd rather Lombard not get worse at piloting. This is fine, this is fine. I'm basically just using our crew as distractions anyways. Okay. Didn't take any hull damage. Thank you, defense drone. And with 123 scrap, I should get some additional weapon power. We've seen that we need simultaneous weapons online, so we're going to do that right now. It's going to happen eventually, so it might as well happen now. Ask if they have anything that could help our mission. No. I should definitely save 45 scrap, though. Maybe 55, because there is a event at some point that's like, uh, you get free augmentations if you can pay for it. And I would like that. All right, this is going to be an annoying encounter. <sighs> We're going to have to deal with four humans. Our crew is probably going to die. That's okay. We're just going to throw our crew at them. I could just vent them. You know what? Let's just freaking vent them. Not vent the back half of the ship. Just vent the forward half. Goodbye. This is a benefit of having the, uh... The clone bay. I just don't need to give a crap. Yeah, come in here. Come in here. And then come in here. And then I get some more, uh... Killing experience with Fen. Alright. No, you know what? No, 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 no. We're gonna have the NGs do the repairing, because they can actually use the experience, and they're not gonna die quite as frequently as my slugs. Lombard, as long as he's still level 2 pilot, I'm okay with that. I'm okay. You can go repair this, because you are an NG. And you're gonna need to be good at repairing. No store or anything. I gotta wait until the coming back to life process finishes for everybody. I should definitely get the next clone bay upgrade. Just to make this not take as long. And the HP regeneration is better. It's probably better to do that sooner rather than later. Okay. Get all the boring upgrades do done and out of the way. We will investigate the vessel. Navigate carefully around it and strip materials. No, they're angry. Oh, they have a flat gun mark too. We got to take that out. ASAP. ASAP. Do I use a defense drone? I'll try. Try to shoot down the hack. That was going on shields. That's very good. That was going on O2. That's going on engines. This is going on drone. You know what? It's okay. Cost me a drone part, it's gonna cost me a drone part either, either way. It did its job. It protected shields, it protected engines. And a breach has to come out, it has to come out on... It can come out on shields because the charge laser can fire immediately on weapons as soon as the breach lands. Oh, it missed! It missed and I have to beam over to stop them from getting the repair done. What a shame. 
This is gonna suck. Ooh, we only got hit for two. It's not that bad. Okay, their flat gun is offline. And I, oh, they kept it online. But I can, I can breach their shield room again and keep it offline. I might not have to though. Let's wait. You know what? I'm I'm going to because then I can charge laser their their weapons. Ooh, actually, I can send over one charge laser and kill the uh, Lanius, but I missed. But that's okay. Yeah, now that's got to go offline. Oh, now it's got to stay offline. There we go. Kill the Lanius in the shield room. It's probably going to force this Lanius to go in there and start doing repairs. And I can probably kill their crew pretty easily here. We're probably just going to send over the... No. Probably just going to send over the uh, slugs to finish the job. Yeah. 4 HP, we get a Rockman, and then I can just recover the slugs immediately. That worked out perfectly. And we actually finally have an alternative to a slug, and it is a Rockman. Hallelujah. Rockmen are much better. Much better. So much more HP, they're going to be much better at tanking the enemy. And Fen, what are you going to do? You might as well be on doors. Keep us a little bit better protected against invaders. Nice, 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 nice. Probably want to go to a store, sell the second defense drone, and repair. I will definitely explore the asteroid field. We picked up quite a lot of scrap, actually. That's pretty pretty nice. Okay, just a... Uh, you know, just your standard Lanius ship with a lot of bullshit. So we're just going to have to deal with this. Oh, and hey, another uh, Lanius coming to board us. <laughs> um, hmm. All right, you two. Kill this guy. They don't have a clone bay. They don't have a med bay. We can possibly kill them? What do we do about the flak? I could use a, a defense drone. It will shoot down some of the flak shots. Is that what I want to do? Not really. Is that what I'm going to do? I don't know. I have a teleporter. Could switch over to the Artemis, but Breaching Bomb Charge Laser is good enough. Let's use a Defense Drone. It should shoot down some of the flak, ideally. And as a result, we shouldn't take any damage. Shouldn't being the uh, the word there. Your mind Control is a level 2 Mind Control? That's very annoying because I want to be able to board them at some point. I also, I also don't want Rockman to destroy the uh, teleporter, and luckily he did not. Okay, shields are ionized. We're going to have to basically rely on the defense drone. Breach their shields. Got to happen. Uh, they're going to cloak. They're going to cloak. You know what? You know what? Boredom. See if we can't kill this crew member. He's very wounded. Thank you, Defense Drone. I think it did keep us protected there. I don't care if they cloaked. Uh, we do need to keep power in the shields. Holy crap, how did I mess that up so badly? Okay, we've got a breach, and we got a breach on shields. Now we got to charge laser the weapons. We took one point of damage, but their flak is offline. I, I screwed this up royally by not having enough power in the shield room. You know what it was? I put power into the teleporter. That screwed me. Dang it! Dang it, Bobby! Alright, weapons being attacked. Can't allow that. So we're, so we're gonna attack ourselves with ourselves. Slug, uh... NG can do that. Slug can stay in the shield room, I guess. Keep it... Keep it powered up. Keep the dodge chance up. I don't know why it wasn't. Keep the charge lasers going out, and... You know what? We're gonna board again as well. I need to keep them busy. I need to keep them occupied. I can depower oxygen. Ah, uh, they, they cloaked. So you know what? You go back to engines. We're going to have Slug join the attack. 
I just need to keep them busy. I need to stop them from repairing stuff like the shield room. I need to stop them from ionizing my ship too. So we're gonna have to move power into shields. Should I breach them again? No, we have the charge laser. Charge laser is gonna be doing our damage here. One Lanius is dead. Might be able to do this by killing the Lanius. Yes, we did it. Cool. Okay. That was annoying. That was very annoying. We got hit for like one, maybe two points of damage, which is not bad. Thank you, Defense Drone. We're going to go to the store. We're going to repair and sell the second Defense Drone. We don't need it. We got one. Could swap over to the Med Bay, but because I have backup DNA bank, I don't think I'm going to. Reconstructive Teleport. Oh, man. With Reconstructive Teleport, I don't need to spend any scrap in upgrading the Clone Bay. We're fine. I teleport, we get fully healed. Bang, boom, awesome. And Zoltan Shield Bypass. We have just like the best store here. What are we gonna do? We're going to buy something. I think I'm gonna buy Mind Control. It's a good counter against Mind Control. It's gonna make boarding easier. And I think we're not gonna get the Reconstructive Teleport. You know what? I changed my mind. We're going to get Reconstructive Teleport. The likelihood of finding it again is extremely small, and keeping my crew alive is going to mean that they get more combat training. Kremity and Fen are now both below level 2 combat. They're not doing more combat damage. If I can get them trained up, they're going to stay alive longer. They're not going to die as much. They're going to re heal. They're going to be better at combat. And I can always buy Mind Control later. I do have one more system slot available, I do believe, yes I do. That could be Cloak, Hack, or Mind Control. At this point, since we don't have any weapons, it might end up being Hack. But, and you know what, that might be a, a good enough reason not to get it now. So, so let's get Reconstructive Teleport, it's very good. Couple fuel. A little bit of repairing, just so that I feel safe. And, we are golden. In fact, Fen could be part of the boarding uh, squad now, and he might as well be so he gets healed up. And everyone else, go back to your rooms. No, I want you there, I want you there. You both have the same training in uh, combat, so it doesn't matter who goes out. And this is very nice. I do think this is good. 7 drone parts for 22 scrap. That is the worst trade of all time. There's another store. I'm not going to have enough scrap to actually do anything at the store, which is unfortunate, but that's okay. And again, just beacon after beacon of nothing, which is terrible, terrible. Ions and lasers. We should be able to take out their weapons before they have a chance of firing multiple times. We might not be able to take out their weapons before they hit us for couple of times though. Like, I, I want to take their ions offline. Good. Their ions are now offline. Their lasers are about to fire. Unfortunately, I have to keep my shields powered. I can't depower them. They won't come back before the chain laser fires. So might as well do that. We got very lucky with a couple of dodges. That's very nice. And because my teleporter is level 2, I can actually just recover my crew. And they, they're, they're fine. They're not going to die. This is very nice because it means I can actually just farm combat training against a ship and don't have to use a missile. I can just keep beaming aboard, uh, taking out their shields, charge laser their weapons to keep them offline, destroy the ship from the inside. And the reason why I'm not teleporting over immediately is because they cloaked. I want to time my teleport so that they cloak, decloak, and then I can beam my crew back. Otherwise they might die in the uh, few seconds they're cloaked. So that worked out perfectly. Recover my crew, send over the charge laser, keep their shields depowered. Missed, but you know, it's okay. And we're getting good training on the uh, chain laser as well. It doesn't, we can bring the shields back online faster than they can fire it. And we're just getting training on shields, which is good. That was dumb of me. But you know, it's not that bad. It's just gonna cost us a few seconds. 
Gracie getting trained up on shields. We gotta get Gracie trained up before Sector 8, but that's a long ways away. It's gonna happen. We don't really have to worry about it too much. And as soon as the shields go offline, I can attack their weapon system. Dang it. You know what? That's fine. Taking out one weapon, it doesn't matter which weapon we take out. We're gonna be fine. We're not gonna take any, any hull damage. Would have liked to have taken out the iron weapon, but for some reason they actually moved their power around and put it into... Or the iron weapon stayed online and then they swapped their power around, which is fine. Fine for me. Fine with me. All right, well, we're going to have to beam over again. Take out the shields. I don't want to use breaching bomb just because I don't have to. And why use a missile if you don't have to? Come on, shields. Come on. There we go. Shields are finally offline. Oh, but then they repaired them slightly, so I'm going to have to stay stay and finish them. There we go. Okay, charge laser on cloak. Stop cloaking. And now charge laser on weapons. Their shields are not going to get repaired. Good. Now hit them in shields. Keep them offline. Good. Now piloting and engines, and we should be fine here. Don't need to send over my crew again. I could send them over to get healed up, but they're going to get healed up by the Columbia anyways. It doesn't matter. And we almost have max level crew in piloting and engines. The engine personnel is level level three. Well, yellow level, whatever. However you call it, pronounce it, choose to declare it. They're almost max level. Mm -hmm. Metal bastards target abandoned settlements only. If we relocated our fleet based on every request from backwater. Wait, what's that? Medbay. Medbay is dangerous, but their weapons are not very dangerous. They only have two lasers and a fire drone. As long as our shields are online when the fire drone fires, we're golden. Biggest problem is just going to be uh, sending over the breaching bomb and then sending over our crew. Good, and one miss means that we're not going to take damage. Their weapons don't fire at the same rate, so hopefully our shields can get charged up in time. And now we beam over to their engine room. And the reason why we're going to do it like this is so that... Actually, let's do it into the uh, weapons room. The reason why we're going to do it like this is because when their crew goes to the med bay to... Oh, they have a freaking anti-personnel drone. All right, change of plans. Change of plans, we go into the med bay. Why? Oh, they have a freaking uh, repair drone, too. This is awkward. This is so awkward. I can't do any of the things I want to do. Freaking anti-personnel drone. Their crew are dying, and their crew will die. It's just a matter of how long it's going to take to make it happen. Repair drone has been brought back to life. We're going to send our crew into the O2 room really quickly. Have them send crew into the med bay. Bomb it. And then come back in here and be like, hey, how's it going? Hey, hey. Uh, I could recover my crew. Ooh, this human's almost dead. Can I recover? Yes, Slug made it. He's back to full health. They only have one human left and I can kill him pretty easily. Might have to use one more breaching bomb, which I don't like having to do, but... You know, I could have also done this by beaming more crew over and I should have probably done that first. That's okay. Let's go into the, uh, let's go into the, uh, drone control? Drones are getting repaired, but very slowly, so I don't mind, I don't mind staying in this room. Kill the, kill the anti-personnel drone, destroy the drone control system, and then go from there. Come on, Rockman, you can do it. And now we can also send over a couple of additional crew members, like the weapons personnel and the other slug. And we have no fires aboard our ship yet, which is lovely. Oh, god damn it. Gotta keep, I gotta keep these guys busy is the problem. Take out the med bay? Nah, he's just gonna walk into the med bay. And it's a level 2 med bay. Take out the shields and then use the charge laser? That's kind of what I'm thinking now. Let's get everyone into the uh, the shield room. 
No, not there, Rockman. I don't want him to die. If I can avoid it. This is so awkward. <laughs> It'll happen eventually. It'll work. They're out of drone parts, probably. Let's keep banging on their shields for a while. Ugh. Like, our crew health doesn't matter because we will be able to repair, uh, heal them back to full health just by teleporting them. Get the shields down. Hit the med bay. He's got to get that stuff repaired now. We're getting combat training as well. No med bay? And, oh, they got the med bay powered up. It must be a third level med bay. You know what? It's probably a third level med bay. Okay, it's still powered up. As soon as we destroy it, though, Kremity and Fen can go in there. Actually, Kremity and, and Rockman. Yeah. Rockman can need, need some uh, combat experience. Fen, actually, is almost max level. But Rockman, if he gets one more kill, he uh, levels up. So let's do that. Let's send them into the weapons room. Hey, there we go. Didn't take any damage, didn't get any fires, and everyone's back up to full health. Whew, that took a while. Jesus. And picked up a stun bomb, which we are going to sell because it's not very good. The stun is nice, and if we're boarding, maybe we could use it, but I'd rather just use the missile to 245 crew damage and destroy three systems and, you know, start a breach. That seems a little bit more productive than temporarily stunning them and doing one ionization. Examine station, blah, blah, blah. Ooh, we got crew in the teleporter. Well, the bright side is that we can just beam over when they get wounded and they'll get back up to full health. And we need a defense drone because they do have a missile launcher. We don't need two bars of shields, so we don't need to have that powered up at all. And this should be a very straightforward encounter. Don't even need to use a breach, just have everyone bash each other for a while in the teleporter and we'll send our crew over later. In fact, let's send our crew over now, they'll just get healed, won't they? And as a result of getting healed, I can send the Slugman and the weapons personnel in to deal with the people in the teleporter. They're not going to take out the teleporter, don't worry. Mantis is almost dead, which is what I wanted because the Rockman took so long to get over to the room. Man, uh, Slug does need to leave though. He's gonna he's gonna die here in a minute, but that's that's fine. That's why we are doing what we're doing. Actually, what we can do is just board them with the uh, Slug and Ng. They'll get back up to full health. They will deal with. Uh, Well, they'll deal with the slug. This is fine. My rock man's fine. Ooh, now they're going into the shield room. Don't go into the shield room. Stay, there, stay, where, stay where you are. Stay where you are. It's kind of micromanaging the, crew, the situation, micromanaging the crew a little bit. Thank you, Defense Drone, for not missing. Defense Drones can miss, and I'm glad that they are not, because that would be a little bit awkward. 29 scrap and full health crew. We have 100 scrap. Let's go to the NG controlled sector. We have NGs and I don't want to run into Zoltan super shields if I can avoid it. We didn't pick up the super shield bypass. We picked up the other thing that we picked up, which was reconstructive teleport, I believe. Aha, we will send the crew to help because giant alien spiders are no joke. Without warning, the giant arachnids turn and charge. However, your team stays in control. Hey, nice. The reason why I did that is because if you have the clone bay, it doesn't matter if your crew dies because you have a clone bay. They just come back to life. And, you know, station owners. Um, I believe how it's worded is the station owners are like, oh, we're so sorry about your loss, but thank you for trying. Here's some some scrap rewards to, to uh, accommodate you. And you're like, oh, hey, thanks. Don't tell them about the clone bay. You know, because your crew's not actually dead. Might as well go to another beacon before the store. There's a lot of stores here, which is both good and bad. It's good because we can buy some good stuff, but it's bad because if we go to them, that's that's beacons that don't have scrap for us to pick up for free. 
Okay, how do we deal with this? They have a lot of weapons. I think we're going to breach their weapon system. I think we're going to breach, and I think we're going to teleport over immediately, and then use our crew to delay the Mantis, maybe kill him. We need to take their weapons offline. The double shot heavy laser is very bad if we let it fire a lot. Luckily, though, it hit our shields, but we still need to take it offline. That's gotta happen. Not even gonna keep them busy, which is kind of good for me because it means that I don't need to deal with them. What I can do, though, is send over these two crew to take out the clone bay while we wait. These crew can take out the... Weapon system? Ah, the weapon system's got no oxygen, though. But they have like a level 2 or 3 O2 system, so we can take it out offline a little bit more. Okay, Mantis is back. Okay. Weapons are offline. Let's send our crew into the shield room. And as a result, we pulled the crew away. Perfect. I'm learning. I'm learning how to abuse the AI. Okay, my crew is dying. Then we'll survive. They have no clone bay anymore. And the NG will die. Good, good. I didn't have to micro that at all. And we got Garrick, a human who is good at repair. I mean, it's good to have another crew member, but we're going to get rid of them probably, you know, the, at the first time when we have the opportunity. It, it, it is nice, though, because we do have just someone else who can be a combat personnel. I don't have to pull an NG away for combat. I can use Slug Human. So it's not that bad. They're bad at combat, but they'll get trained up eventually. Aboard this ship, you're going to be doing some combat. Sensors don't necessarily need. We have Slugs. Cloaking don't need. We have Missile Defense. Cell. Stun Bomb. Heavy Laser Mark 1. It's an okay weapon to have, but I worry that we just don't have, like, the offensive firepower that we actually do need. Firebomb. Firebomb. Ooh, this is a tough choice. Firebomb. Ooh. I like the firebomb. Firebomb plus hacking is really good even against third phase rebel flagship we've seen it before maybe even on this ship but you hack a room you start a fire in it you send over a rock man they can't get the fire put out they just die oof it's it's a it's a long-term investment i like the breach for our current position I like using this to uh, take out enemy med bays and clone bays, weapon systems, whatever. It does three damage, which is very nice. It teleports. It's basically a guaranteed hit as long as they don't dodge it. Against a rebel flagship, if we can get hacking, hacking firebomb is great. Against first phase, you just have to wait for your weapons to get charged after the cloak. Second phase, you can you can you know beam over immediately. Though I do like waiting for the firebomb first. It also means you don't need level three hacking. Level one hacking is sufficient because all you really need is the doors to be closed and locked and to prevent the crew from moving around. That's what the uh, hacking is for. You can do it without hacking. You can do it without hacking. I think I'm going to buy the Firebomb, and I'm not even going to buy it for anything except for the Rebel Flagship fight. I think the Firebomb is going to be my my plan C, pretty much. It's a good plan C. We're going to buy it. We're going to buy it. It's good. It's really good. So now I'm probably going to focus on getting hacking. Now it means drone parts will be spread a little bit thin, but we have enough that I'm, I'm happy. We're going to be getting a lot more as we do combat. We don't need to use defense drones all the time, like this combat for example, so that's good. It's fine. 
These guys have no teleporter. Kind of a shame. I would like their crew to beam aboard my ship and get busy, basically. So what we're going to do instead is we're going to send over... Their weapons scare me. We're going to... We're going to... We're going to... We're going to... We're going to use Breach Artemis. I don't like this. But what I think we're going to do is Breach the weapon system, Artemis, the med bay. Yeah, we need to take out three weapon power aboard their ship. Laser charger uses two, basic laser uses one. Uh, heavy laser uses three. So even if they have three weapon power, they can still hit us with uh, three shots from these weapons. We have to take out, well, no, if we take out three weapon powers, they're just gonna take this offline. If we take out two, they're going to probably take the laser charger offline. I'm going to use Breaching Bomb Artemis. So let's let the weapons charge. We're not going to board immediately. We're going to board as soon as we fire. We're going to we're going to breach the med bay, beam into the med bay. We're going to Artemis the weapons. We're going to do that right now. We dodged a lot of shots. I'm very happy about that. The Breaching Bomb missed. We're gonna board. Da, 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 da. We're gonna board. We gotta stop them from repairing. Human and slug are gonna go in next in 15 seconds. Stop their med bay. Good, it landed. Get into the med bay, stop them from repairing it. It doesn't matter that we're spreading out our damage. We just need to wait until we can send over the uh, human slug. You're fine. It doesn't matter if you die. Because we have reinforcements. Human goes into the med bay. Slug's gonna die. You know what? Just stay where you are. This will hopefully work. I can I can send over more crew if I need to. Rockman's dead. NG's gonna die in a second, which is nice. It's gonna slow down the repairs, but I do need to send over more crew. I don't like that I'm taking my crew away from engines and shields, but I need to send over crew quickly. I need to stop the repairs from happening. As long as we get some lucky dodges, we're fine. I do need to get my uh, dodge chance up though at some point. NGs are gonna live. They'll they'll kill the uh, the mantises. Okay, civilian ship. Unfortunately, we didn't get anything. That's another thing. I, I haven't been noticing a lot of double dipped rewards on this run. We've been saving ships, and then they've just been dead most of the time. We got five hull points repaired from a ship early on, but I can't remember. I can't remember if that was this run or a previous run. Either way. Fen is slightly worse at combat, but he's still pretty good. Markel was never all that good. He's only at uh, green level. But that's good. We're good. We're good. Let's go to the store. What do I want? Weapon pre-igniter. Um, probably hacking. Yeah, they got hacking. Ion intruder drone. It's another drone part that we would have to use. Combat drone's pretty nice. Four weapon power is a lot, but the combat drone can take down enemy shields very quickly. However, if we're going to end up using Hacking Firebomb, we might not need it. Do we want Mind Control? No. I want Hacking. I can upgrade Hacking to, to level 3, and that would allow it to bust down enemy shields very easily. I have an Artemis, so I can sneak it in on the second phase of the Rebel Flagship fight without cheesing it. Uh, drone parts. I'm going to have to save six for the Rebel Flagship fights. That's fine. I think we're going to buy hacking. We don't have weapons. We don't have good potential of busting through enemy uh, shields. 
I think we're going to have to use hacking, use the firebomb, and that's how we're going to do it. I'm going to get the backup battery. It's really good for, you know, temporary, temporary usage of the teleporter or for the clone. And we're going to keep all the weapons because they're all useful. It sucks because we don't have very good weapons, but it's what we got. It's what we got. Okay. As much as I'm predicting doom and gloom, I think we I think we stand a pretty good chance. All right, that's just a free event. It did give us six fuel though, so I'm not mad about that. That's a lot of fuel. Seven missiles missiles is also really nice because it means that I don't need to worry too much about using missiles. I can just use missiles, you know. Missile launcher, on the other hand, is going to be brought online with the defense drone. Well, we're going to use a defense drone to counter their missile launcher. Single shot laser. I can go down to one bar of shields, put it, put the power into teleporter. They have only NGs and one Zoltan. I'm going to board them in their weapons room. And I'm going to do that. I'm going to board them in the piloting room, stop them from dodging, and I'm going to breach their uh, med bay. So I'm going to wait a second, wait for the uh, breach to power up slightly. We're going to get human and slug ready to go over. We're going to breaching bomb their uh, med bay, and that's how we're going to kill them. Their bomb missed. It's a fire bomb, so I don't need to worry about it too much. NG is dead. Other NG is going in there to try to get it repaired. If we kill their uh, first NG, though, he's not going to be able to get the repairs done. He's going to come and try to attack us. Yeah. I'm going to send over these two crew members so that they get healed up, and I'm just going to open the doors and extinguish the fire. Even if we do one, uh, even if the teleporter is slightly wounded, I'll just repair it and it's fine. All right, we picked up another NG Wai Xing. Probably going to dismiss them. We have three NGs manning three stations. We have a human who is better at combat, and I'm going to be using human plus alternate slug for combat, so I don't need another NG. We're going to dismiss it. Kind of wish it was a. Uh, Close all doors, you idiot. Kind of wish it was a uh, Mantis or another Rock Man, but if it was another Rock Man, I would probably get rid of the Breach and switch over to using entirely a Firebomb because it's just as good. If not better because you're using two Rock Men and they're both immune to fire. But we're good. We're good. We're good as we are. Let's just uh, keep moving. Thank you, Defense Drone. I, I, I prefer defense drone for missile defense because it's so much more effective and consistent. And we picked up another laser. Hey, we actually have the possibility of busting down uh, four bars of shields on Sector 8. Cool. 15 second charge time versus 18 second for three shots with the laser charger. So you know what? I think I'm going to upgrade my weapon system here shortly. I'm not going to do it quite yet because we're still just using our own teleporter to do damage, but I might do that in the future. I will dock with the refueling platform. We have second level blast doors, which might hurt us or help us. We did get hit for some damage, but you know, who cares? A couple of bombs, halberd beam, single shot laser. We'll be fine. These guys can go get the uh, repairs done. We took three points of damage to the hull. It's not that bad. We can board them and kill them very easily because it's just some NGs and humans. This should be a very easy encounter. Uh, it's one Zoltan, but the Zoltan's fighting the Rockman, so it's fine. Engines are already back online. They have the bombs. The bombs do worry me, but... One missed, one hit the clone bay. Never mind, they don't worry me at all. Fen will survive. And alternate fighting crew is going to deal with this NG. Yeah. Yeah. It would be nice if Kremity could get leveled up. It would be nice if Markel could get leveled up. But he'll get leveled up eventually, anyways. He's gonna he's the prime fighting crew. 
think I'm gonna switch him up. Switch him around though. No, you stay there. Oh, do, 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 do. oh kill him, kill him, kill him, kill him, kill him. I'm an idiot. We're alive. I was trying to be cheeky about it and be like, oh, let's let's get the combat training done on the Rockman instead because he's going to be, you know, the first line out of defense and offense. And oh, hey, wait a minute. Our shields are down because they're still shooting me. That's my bad. I need to be a lot more observant about that kind of stuff because that should not have happened. I, I should have just killed them as quickly as possible because double bomb, you know, all it takes is one bomb. I can probably go to some more beacons, but probably not four more beacons. I could skip my way through the rebel fleet, but probably not very well. Ah, whatever. Just jump here, see what happens. I didn't want to go down because I would just have to fight the rebels anyways for the same number of beacons. So let's just let's just go to the exit. Okay. Combat drone, single shot, laser, not a problem. I didn't see any boarding, but maybe I did. Uh, defense drone's got to come out though. Missile launcher. One med bay. Unknown drones. Unknown if they have a uh, repair drone or an anti-personnel drone. I think they do. I think they do. So we're gonna have to deal with that. How? Ah, kind of like the idea of a firebomb, honestly. But I think I'm going to still use the Breach. We're going to try out the Breach. Breaching bomb the medbay, beam over, stop them from repairing it. In fact, I might want to send my crew over first, and then Breaching bomb in a minute. So let's go into the piling room. Yeah, it's anti-personnel drone. This human will be dead, though. We're going to Breach as soon as he walks into the uh, medbay. So, come on. Walk in there. Breach. He's dead. We walk in there to stop them from repairing it. They do not have a repair drone, which is perfect. Okay, my slug is going to die very quickly here. So we're going to send over the rest of the crew. I should have done this earlier. Uh, is it okay if Fen dies? You know what? Let's just bring him back. Let's bring him back for a minute. Everyone go back to your rooms. We can send him back in 15 seconds, and they're not going to get this repaired by then. We'll be fine. He might even be a little bit further wounded because of the low oxygen, so maybe we'll be even better off. I'm not going to be using the charge lasers to get that depowered. Yeah, they're like moving crew in and out, trying to uh, fix the low oxygen. Now it's been fixed, so I can just come aboard and be like, Hey, I noticed you all are having a problem with your HP. Maybe I can help you fix it. Defense drone, you know, or not defense drone, the... Uh, Anti-personnel drone is still going to be a little bit of an issue, but I can beam aboard, kill their crew, keep Slug alive. You can you can live. Yes. I don't. If I can avoid using the clone bay, I'd like to because then the skill upgrades are permanent. Even Garrick's getting in on the action. Markel. Needs four more kills to get up to his maximum level. He can, we can do that at some point. 125 scrap. You know what? I'm not even going to play around. Next bar of shields. I need it. Well, this is annoying, but... Only two crew. We can deal with this. And in fact, I might even not use a drone part. I might just take whatever they shoot at me on the chin. Oh, but they're hacking. Oh, okay. Defense drone can come out. I was thinking about it with the defense, with the, the hack. If I can uh, avoid the hack for as long as possible, I'll do it. And it also functions as a uh, way to shoot down the missile, so it's okay. I don't mind. Yeah, unfortunately, they fired their laser right as our shields went down from the Ion Pulse. But we will be able to kill them before they fire again. Yeah, I was trying to get over there in time. Now we just gotta wait. We gotta wait for the uh, power to come back on in the shields. 
I don't want to jump with uh, no shield power. It's going to take a minute. It's going to take a minute. Ugh, it's going to take longer than a minute. Oh, dang it. I should have jumped. The shields were offline, but they could have, you know, come back online. I'll take a drink. Note to self, this is an excellent point to cut the video for the second part. All right, shields are finally back online. We can jump out of here. Yes, I'm not forgetting anything. Attempt to release some slaves. Absolutely. Oh, Freaking NG. I don't want NGs. I've got NGs. I've got NGs coming out of my asshole. If, you know, if that was a Mantis or another Rockman, I would be jumping for joy. It wasn't, but that's okay. Two NGs, we just board them immediately. There's no point in even debating it. It's going to be an easy one-way fight. One-way? One-sided fight. And they are not going to live. Maybe send over Garrick and Kremity and have them do something. Well, I guess they're just going to get the kill. I don't want them to get the kill. I want... You know what? I can micro this. You go here, you go there. I can make human Rockman get the kill. And they both need level ups. And this is a good time to do it because uh, we're not going to take any damage. Oh yeah, we got a Shelton. A Zoltan. He's fantastic. He's a good weapons personnel. We are going to take Shelton. Reason being is because we're kind of late in the game. Getting one free reactor power out of him is nice. We have NGs already, so we don't need to worry too much about having three NGs. I could use him as a border, and he's not bad because he explodes and does damage to the enemy. But I think I'm just gonna have him in the weapons room. And I'm just gonna have to I'm gonna have to keep an eye on the weapon power whenever I move him out of the room. This is good. This is very good. Uh, I need to actually put power in the teleporter, please. There we go. Everyone go back to your room, including you, Shelton. Welcome aboard. And we're gonna jump to the next sector, sector six, slug home nebula. If there's a time to get it, it's when you have three slugs. <clears throat> now, the only question is whether you need a slug in order to do the quest, and I think I think you don't need a slug. You can either have slug or second level sensors. We obviously don't have any sensor system, so I think we can do the, the um, quest if we want to. The question is, do we? We have to accept surrender offers on enemy ships, and that could be... I'm not going to say disastrous, but it could be awkward because you don't get anything out of it sometimes. Let's get the engines powered up. We're going to need it. Let's get second level piloting. It's got to happen eventually. Let's do it now. And we still have the backup battery we can use to uh, power up the defense drone in place of the teleporter, should we need it. Don't need the clone bay because we have reconstructed teleport. This ship is going to be annoying. Can we beam over before they do anything? It's no point. They're just going to kill my crew and get healed up. We're going to use Firebomb. I don't like their uh, Ion Blast Mark II, but at least they're not firing it immediately. Why are we using Firebomb? Because I have a rock crew member, I can stop them from repairing the mid bay, even though my slug will end up dying in the process. But if we use a breaching bomb, this is a slug ship. 
the breach is going to automatically repair itself. The breach isn't going to be all that helpful. The fire will be helpful. They can't put out the fire. Now, hopefully our dodge chance is such that we can avoid most of these shots because that's going to be a sticky point. I also don't like the fact that uh, I'm basically relying on the firebomb, but, you know, whatever works. My slug will die. I fully accept that. So the medbay is already destroyed. And my crew is going to be ready to, to beam over. It's got to happen. The whole, whole point of this is to do as much crew damage as possible, as quickly as possible. And my crew is not going to die. Doesn't matter what happens. Go into the weapons room. Because that crew member is very wounded. Oof. This is going to be close. It's going to be close. Might as well send the Rockman out here. I need to do as much damage to them as possible. And Rockman can get a kill. Four shots coming in. There's nothing I can do about it. We killed him. We got hit a few times, but we killed him. That was not that bad. I'm glad I switched over to the firebomb. I think that worked out much better than not having it. Ooh, okay. Did take a little bit of damage, but we can get healed up. There's a store here, so we can just do that right now, in fact. One more beacon, and then we heal up. Lombard, Gracie, and Shelton will slowly get healed up as we jump. Worrying radiation coming from your medical unit. Our medical unit is the clone bay. Are we going to use... Are we going to use hacking? No, we're going to do literally the same thing we just did. We're going to start a fire in their med bay and then beam over. They don't have cloaks. So we're going to be able to do this faster as well. They have a beam, a charge laser with four shots, a single shot, basic later, laser, excuse me. Um, so let's, let's hack them, just because I'm not going to be using the hacking part anyways, so it doesn't matter. Oh, they're also boarding us, which is something I did not expect, but our two crew members can deal with that while I worry about boarding them. I can get the charge laser powered up, why not? You know, I should auto-fire it just to get the training on Shelton. I'm an idiot. I should have been doing this a long time ago. Okay, firebomb ready to go. Beam aboard. Stop them from putting out the fire. They have a level 1 tele one med base, so that is already offline. And now Garrick and Kremity can beam over in 5 seconds. Yeah, Fen's dead. Fen's dead, baby. Fen's dead. Go into the door room. I don't know why. Just cuz. Oh, Rockman with Firebomb is so good. You die, Rockman, it's fine. They are not gonna be putting out that fire. Auto fire the charge laser. Why are you not auto firing? Okay, 53 scrap. Lovely. You know, we're not necessarily... Early on in the game, we had a lot of beacons that didn't have anything in them. But now that we are good at combat, we're good at boarding, we're getting a lot of rewards. And I think the rewards we're getting now is kind of making up for the deficit we were in earlier. We're already at third bar of shields. We're already to a point where we can defeat any ship we come across, essentially. And I like that. I like that. We're, pretty, we're basically just, at this point, getting ourselves geared up for the Rebel Flagship fight. I would like to buy a weapon pre-igniter, because it means I can beam over immediately. No. Flak gun is good, though. I might buy the flak gun. Okay, well, you know what? Let's figure this out. Let, <clears throat> excuse me. Let's figure this out. What are we going to have for the third phase of the Rebel Flagship. What do we want to have? I want to have... Firebomb. I want to have... 
Breaching bomb's not necessary. I want to have charged laser, whole laser. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven weapon power. Eight with the Artemis. That's not bad. I need to keep the Artemis because on the second phase of the Rebel flagship fight, I need to fire the Artemis and the hacking in at the same time so that the defense drone shoots down the Artemis and the hacking drone sneaks through. So for now, I'm not going to use the whole laser, but I'm going to keep it. Firebomb's critical unless I get more laser weaponry like you know what I'm kind of doing now if I buy the flat gun. Oh, da, 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 da. but I like the I like the I like the fire rock man. It's working out so well. It's going to work out well against the uh, rebel flagship. As much as I like the flak gun, I mean actually I could get the flak gun to replace the charge laser and it is better. It is better. Okay, we're going to buy the flak gun, replace the charge laser. We're going to use that now. We're going to get rid of the whole smasher laser by just putting it in my, in my inventory, I mean. We're going to use it later. We're going to use it later. So we're gonna... That means we're going to hold, hold on to a lot of equipment, but it's for switching out later, which is okay. I can sell the laser charger now if I wanted to. Yeah, probably should. Ah, the prob the problem is you know what? I've learned my lesson in the past. Let's not spread ourselves too thin. We got a system that works right now. Let's work on ourselves, work on our defenses, work on, you know, getting dodge chance up. Let's not worry about the weapons. Our weapons are technically fine for going up against the rebel flagship. If I didn't pick up anything else from now until then, I would be okay with it. I wouldn't be I wouldn't be perfectly happy but i would be okay with it i think we would be fine so let's not focus on unnecessary stuff right now let's get more dodge chance keep ourselves alive a little bit longer and focus on us